Welcome back to Film Buffs, and here are the top actors who turned down major roles. Tom Cruise in Edward Scissorhands Tom Cruise was offered the role of Edward Scissorhands, but he declined the role because Tim Burton couldn't provide specific answers to questions. For example, like how the character would go to the bathroom. You know, it's funny, I've seen Edward Scissorhands like a hundred times and I never actually thought, how does he go to the bathroom? Does he have to go to the bathroom? He is a robot, but he does eat and that food has to go somewhere. So I do understand why Tom Cruise was quite confused about the character. Maybe he just wants to really take on that character and understand everything about them. Personally, I'm glad he didn't go for it because I think Johnny Depp's performance was just a masterpiece in this film. Personally, I think Johnny Depp brought a massive, beautiful combination of personalities what made the character so special. And I personally think only Johnny Depp could have actually achieved this. I don't think Tom Cruise could have done it as well. Fun fact, Johnny Depp almost walked away from even auditioning for Edward Scissorhands. With such Hollywood heavyweights like Tom Hanks, Michael Jackson and Tom Cruise trying to audition for the role. Hearing Michael Jackson's name even pop up for an idea of Edward Scissorhands makes sense visually, but performance-wise would have been an utter disaster. Al Pacino in Star Wars. Even more specifically, Han Solo. Al Pacino says he turned down playing Han Solo because he didn't understand the script. He then went on to joke about how declining the role gave Harrison Ford an acting career. Personally, I think Al Pacino is an amazing actor. I mean, honestly, he's one of the top 10 actors of all time, in my opinion, but he could not play Han Solo. It just wouldn't have worked out. Harrison Ford needed to play Han Solo, and that is it. Crazy to think that if Harrison Ford didn't accept that role, we wouldn't have got these iconic movies like Star Wars or even Indiana Jones. Could you even imagine Al Pacino playing Han Solo? I guess it would have made the whole spy smuggling thing more believable. Emma Watson in La La Land Emma Watson had apparently turned down the role of Mia in La La Land due to scheduling issues because at the time she was working on a little movie called Beauty and the Beast. Obviously I think at that time actors aren't very sure that a movie like La La Land is going to do as well as it did, who could have predicted that? But obviously a movie like Beauty and the Beast, what type of actress or actor can turn that movie down? It's like a gold mine. Both films were majorly successful. And I don't think if Emma Watson chose one or the other, it would have gone either way. But I think she made the right choice with going on Beauty and the Beast and leaving La La Land to Emma Stone. I don't know why, personally, for me, I just don't think that Emma Watson fits into that type of category for La La Land. As where Emma Stone does really suit that role. But could have Emma Stone played Belle in Beauty and the Beast? I don't know. Probably not. However, she did jump on her own Disney property with Corella. Hugh Jackman in Casino Royale. Now, personally, I don't know many actors who would actually turn down the role of James Bond. I mean, it is such an iconic role and only a few have played it. I mean, yeah, a lot of actors have played it to be fair, but it is such an iconic role that you remember every single one of them. But apparently Hugh Jackman turned down the offer to play James Bond because he was already playing the Wolverine in the obvious famous franchise of X-Men in Marvel slash Fox. Hugh Jackman went on to say, if he had taken on the role of Bond as well, he wouldn't have any time to do anything else. And as we know about Hugh Jackman, he's a very busy actor and he's much of a family man, so he does enjoy his own personal time and taking on a role like James Bond would have completely just taken over his life. However, I think this was the right choice because Hugh Jackman, as great as an actor he is, would have brought more of a brutish, bit too of a angry role I think to James Bond which James Bond needs to be very suave calm and collected which I'm pretty sure Hugh Jackman can do but his face just doesn't really say that he's got a very stern face I don't think is right for James Bond. John Travolta in Forrest Gump When John Travolta was offered the role of Forrest Gump Travolta chose to instead star as Vincent Vega in the famous Quentin Tarantino movie Pulp Fiction. When he was asked by MTV in 2007 if he ever regretted not taking the role, Travolta said that he felt good about his choice. And I personally think everyone does too. Because can you imagine John Travolta doing the line about life being like a box of chocolates? Even switch it around. Imagine Tom Hanks playing Vince Vega, doing a twist move with Uma Thurman. It just truly does not fit John Travolta to play Forrest Gump. I think Forrest Gump was specifically made for Tom Hanks because he plays that role perfectly. I love that movie so much. From start to finish, it is a perfect movie in my opinion. And we can all agree that we hate Jenny. She is probably one of the worst evil characters in any movie whatsoever. 
If you have a problem with that, please at me. But yes, I think John Travolta personally made the right decision and everyone in that cast and crew made the right decision by not hiring John Travolta to play Forrest Gump and letting Tom Hanks just play him. And personally, he played Vincent Vega perfectly. Will Smith in The Matrix. Famously, Will Smith turned down the role of Neo, instead choosing to star in a notorious 1999 flop of a movie, Wild Wild West. Personally, I like Wild Wild West. Is it a good Western movie? No, but it is a good family-friendly child movie. He has since admitted that it is one of his biggest regrets in acting. However, he did go on to say that he wouldn't have been as good in the role as Keanu Reeves. Personally, I have to agree with that. Will Smith kind of makes his movies all about him, and rightfully so because he's an amazing actor. But he is a lot more family friendly as an actor, as where Keanu Reeves took that kind of weird and quirkiness about himself and put it into a serious role which we all loved. And yeah, I think I do agree, I don't think The Matrix would have been as successful with Will Smith playing the role as Neo compared to Keanu Reeves playing the role as Neo. Michelle Pfeiffer in Silence of the Lambs in the early 90s, Michelle Pfeiffer turned down the movie due to its dark themes. She later regretted missing the chance to work with director Jonathan Demme again. The studio hired Jodie Foster to play Clarice, ultimately winning an Oscar for her performance as, as Clarice Starling. I mean, personally, who could turn down the opportunity to work with Anthony Hopkins? But I guess coming off such a massive movie like she did with Batman Returns with all the dark themes in that movie and how actually gothic that movie actually came out, perhaps she wanted something new. However, I can imagine that every single actress would regret not taking the role of Clarice. It is one of the most famous roles in cinema. Actually, out of this whole list, I do believe that Michelle Pfeiffer could have actually done this role very well, maybe even better than Jodie Foster. What do you guys think? Jim Carrey in Elf. Not many people know that the script for Elf was actually written in 1993. And at that time, the movie was actually being written for Jim Carrey to play the main role as Buddy the Elf. However, obviously the movie didn't go straight to production. In fact, it took about 10 years and was released in 2003. By that time, Jim Carrey had already done his own little Christmas movie called The Grinch, which was famously known for being one of the most successful Christmas movies ever made. So by the time 2003 came along, Jim Carrey was no longer interested in doing another Christmas movie. So they ended up giving the main role to Will Ferrell himself to play Buddy the Elf. Personally, I think Will Ferrell playing Buddy the Elf was a perfect casting choice because he brought that perfect comedy wackiness to Buddy the Elf. I think Jim Carrey would have just brought too much craziness to that character, as where well, he's perfect to play a character like the Grinch. Will Ferrell, I don't think, could play the Grinch. It has to be that way around. Jim Carrey playing the Grinch, Will Ferrell playing Body of the Elf. Matt Damon in Avatar. Matt Damon famously turned down a starring role in Avatar as Jake Sully. He even turned down the offer despite being offered 10% of the box office back end, which is absolutely unheard of for an actor to get offered this. If Matt Damon had gone through the role, he would have earned 290 million just from the box office itself, and that was for one movie. He would have got paid for the second movie that we've already seen and the future Avatar movies that we haven't seen yet. Matt Damon has recently regretted not taking on this role, but thankfully, Sam Worthington did and gave us an unbelievable performance as Jake Sully, which I don't know if Matt Damon would have really fit into the role very well because of how big of a star Matt Damon is. Yeah, Sam Worthington was quite big when Avatar came out, but now he is a huge star because of those movies. Do you agree with our list? What actors did we leave out? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below, and we'll see you next time.